This is Megan Lindsay, and you're on BackstageAccess.com, where the real show begins. Thank you so much. I'm Megan. This is Tyler Kane. We came in from Nashville today. Gus Gretzinger here with BackstageAccess.com at Hideaways in Hamburg, New York, with a great multi-talented uh, vocalist, Megan Lindsay. Megan, welcome to Buffalo. Hi, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> TV star, we can say too, but I really don't want to get into that. But um, we'll talk a little bit about that, actually. But I really want to focus in on the new EP, Believer, and uh, tell us a little bit about Believer. And it just came out July 31st, I believe, right? It did. Um, it was exciting. You know, I got to really... I feel like this is a really good representation of, you know, who I am and what I've been through and kind of coming on, out on the other side of things. And so I, um, it was exciting to get, really get to work on this project and make a, you know, make a body of work that I'm really proud of. And if you listen to the songs, uh, really, um, you, you got, uh, you know, a little blues, a uh, little pop little country. I mean, there's a little bit of everything on here. Mm -hmm. And was that kind of, uh, you know, um, did you purposely like say, I want to do a little something, a little bit, a taste of everything or just kind of organically go that way? Um, it kind of just happened. Yeah. You know, I think that I've, I'm from New Orleans. I've lived in Nashville for 11 years. It's, you know, I've just kind of have a lot of different influences and I grew up with a lot of different influences. So I think that there's a little bit of, of all of that on the record. Yeah. If you listen to uh, Counterfeit, very bluesy, soulful, uh, the title track, little... A uh, little pop sold to it, I, I believe. Um, tell us about writing it. And I, uh, Kyle, Tyler Kane, who's very well known in Nashville and around the circles and has worked with Big and Rich and, and uh, numerous other artists. Tell us about hooking up with him and you know, how the <laughs> album came about. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we, it was cool because it's, it's been really just a fun, organic process. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's just been really easy, which is nice. You know, we kind of, we just started writing the songs and, um, kind of tracked them as we went and um it just was a super easy process and, and and fun and it was like making a record with your good friend instead of <laughs> being, feeling like you have to like uh, really low pr no pressure is what you're saying yeah it was low it was really low pressure so that was nice i think that's reflected on the record big time and you know obviously everybody has seen you on the voice but um what i actually want to talk about is you know being a country artist and you know somewhat established obviously um you know uh steel magnolia had some success as as a band a country duo um you and your ex-partner and all of a sudden you decided let's do or you decided let's do i'm going to go on you know this this tv show you know, usually it's the other way around. You're, you're noticeable. You want to get noticed. You, you want to go on a TV show if you have the opportunity. But you're kind of flipped the script a little bit. You were noticeable. And then you went on a TV show. What did you think about that? I mean, tell us um, about that, how that worked out. I think for me it was more about rebranding, you know. Cause okay. everybody kind of knew Steel Magnolia, but yeah. nobody really knew me as Megan Lindsay and my okay. name. And so it was – I think people, some people recognized me, but people just didn't know who I was. And right. so – it was really more of an opportunity for me to be seen on a larger scale and have a platform like that to really show. A huge show. scale. <laughs> <laughs> a huge scale. A huge scale. Yeah. yeah, and just to have people see me, you know, do my thing and be myself and, and to get out there to the fans because I think it, that was the biggest obstacle I was having, you know. I was on a record label with Still Magnolia for so long and then to go from that to being an independent artist and to not have the financial backing to really um, push it, you know, right. that was kind of a really good option. Tell us about the most memorable moment on the TV show and the least most memorable moment. The least one? <laughs> <laughs> um, most memorable. Oh, my gosh. I you know what? There's so many, but it's um, the whole experience was just incredible. And to be able to have that access to those kinds of sets every mm -hmm. week and to really see things come to life the way you would if, I mean, you had access to anything the production you could think itself of. is yeah, amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that in itself and just getting to do the songs and 
and having those coaches, you know, they're just so talented and so right. I mean they're huge superstars. Right, and so to obviously. have feedback from them every week was incredible. That was a, uh, I think Lionel Richie working with Lionel was probably the most memorable thing. I would Hello. Say <laughs> Is he it Lindsay awesome. you're looking for? Um, a lot of artists have usually uh, in the last like couple of years have noticed have had, uh, very well established careers like Cheryl Crow or Jewel, Stephen Toller. Well, we'll kind of kind of skip that, but honestly, Stephen Toller are all going to the country. Let's you know take and kind of leave what we've had behind and do a little country. And you're coming out of country and going the other way, going to more of a like we were talking about blues, rock. You know, coming out of that and doing some things differently. Um, exploring a little bit. Tell us about that, why you're kind of moving out of the country and kind of exploring a little bit. I think it really just comes down to just getting back to my roots. And, you know, I'm not by any means running from country. You know, I definitely have some of that element mm -hmm. in my music. But I think it was just about being organic and, and really finding my voice and getting back to my New Orleans roots on this record. And if you listen to Believer, obviously, uh, like I said, you sing a lot of different uh, types of music. It's just usually a, you don't really hear a vocalist uh, can do that. Maybe a couple different genres and they're okay. But, I mean, you really cover all the facets. Thank you. And you can't say that about a lot of artists. Very, very talented. And it's, it's a really interesting record. I think people out there should be uh, listening to this believer. It's 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 good. But uh, tell us about, like I said, I, it's not like you're running away from country, but, you know, um, are you nervous a little bit trying to venture out or, you know, getting away from, you know, a uh, comfort level? Mm, no, no, because I, <laughs> you know what? It's because I've I've kind of really stepped out of my comfort zone completely in every other aspect at okay. this point. And it's like I've really put myself out there just being on that TV show. I mean, that was right. a huge, really scary thing to do. And so I'm kind of just to the point in my life where I'm just excited to put out stuff I believe in. And if that resonates with people, then that's exciting to me. And speaking about Believer, uh, you have another kind of uh, thing going on with Believer besides the record. I want to talk about. I'm not. I'm guy, but you know, I will bring it up. <laughs> Skincare products. You got this cool line, and I want you yeah, to tell us about that. It's exciting. You know, it's it's something that I've always wanted to do. I've always kind of wanted ex to expand into mm -hmm. other things and have my own beauty and makeup line and my own clothing line one day. But mm -hmm. this was really the first step into doing something like that. And so I partnered with um, this company called Provise Skincare okay. and Modern Minerals Makeup. And we came up with just a collection of three things for right now, and we'll build on that. But um, it's really exciting. It's cool. And it's also like, really good for you good for you and your skin <laughs> and it's cruelty free which right. are all things i'm about so that's exciting and where can uh, fans go check that out it's it's up on my website okay, actually so on okay mm -hmm. uh, obviously i can't really comment on skin products because i really don't know <laughs> but uh it's, but it's cool it's i had to mention it yes <laughs> and it's uh if it's organic and it's uh cruelty free i'm all about it so um <laughs> Tonight will be the first time I'm going to be checking you out live. I want to know what to expect and somebody out there who has never seen you. Yeah. Tell, tell them about what um, a show of Megan Lindsay, what's it all about? <laughs> well, this show's you know, it's stripped down. It's acoustic. Okay. And so it's a little bit different than my full live band okay. show. But um, it's it's cool. It's it's I like doing shows like this and just with a small crowd right. and getting to really like sing the songs I've written and get to talk about them and, 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 um, you know, tell the stories behind the songs. I think that that's, that's it. That I think any artist, that's kind of your favorite way right. to play. Storytellers. Yeah. Yeah. Very personal, very connective, you mm -hmm. know, I like that better. Okay. Um, wrapping up and uh, we're going to obviously believe her, you have to check it out and I want to keep on mentioning that. Uh, rest of 2015 going into 2016, what can the fans expect from you? Any more uh, live shows going forward? Any full length, uh, maybe full length album? Yeah, possibly, I'm working or? on I'm working on new stuff. I've got about thirty dates till the end of the year, okay. so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be busy right. th throughout the end of the year. And then, um, you know, I launched a skincare product. I'm, I'm I wrote a new Christmas song. I'm hey, release. can you want to tell us about the song? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. I I can say that it it will be a fun video that involves dogs. All right. So I'm a okay. dog lover. Me too. 
<laughs> it's ridiculous. I'll, That's I'll awesome. take any dog home that I see. So Awesome. Lock your I'm, dogs up. <laughs> I'm liking her a lot more and more. So I'm going to mention it to name. Megan Lindsay Believer. Definitely check it out. And um, you want to promote the site or anything else? That's... Yeah, MeganLindsay.com okay. is the website. And um, everything's on there. But I'm on, you know, I'm on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. Social media. All everything. the socials. Just look up my name. Cool. I'm right there. Well, we definitely thank Megan Lindsay for taking the time to talk to us at Backstage Access. T- check out the new record. Go to our site, Believer. Making a believer out of me for sure. Check it out. Thank you. Tell me, baby, are you gonna do I make you want to walk away? Tell me, baby, are you gonna do I make you make you want to stay? You're always chasing shiny things, so let me shoot you straight the same counterfeit. This ain't no love. Can you handle it? No free.